about four foot of bar on the front there and there's absolutely nothing. You didn't tell me about the fuel pump. Ah, uh, there might be some other bits and pieces as well, but... but we've started now, we might as well finish it. <laughs> yeah, got no clutch. No clutch. Oh, well, cool. I just didn't need to worry about a clutch. Got no air either. It's a bit of an uh, overkill, isn't it? Right, this is a Willet start with a difference. So, if you're one of those sorts that likes short videos with no talking or explanations, wankers! The rest of you, go get a six pack of beer or a pot of coffee. Six Lamburgers for shish kebabs, a side order of couscous. Oh, and a drum of popcorn, because this, this is gonna get messy. Right, muckers, now, We've got two mats, that one, and uh, that one. <sighs> where are we gonna, where are we gonna start with this one? Um, look, I would think you'll agree. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of you out there that know the matadors, this is almost the typical matador that everyone thinks of when they say, Mate, if you ever come across one that's been in a shed for years and, you know, it just needs a bit of TLC and whatever, I'd always be in... This is it. It's the matador you think of when you think of one in the woods. Or the, the one. Uh, or the one you remember from your childhood in a wood yard somewhere. That is the one. Yeah. This is it. The cab's all there, mate, isn't it? Yeah, you know? If you look inside, it's still got a lot of its original... Oh, yeah. Original seat and stuff. and Yeah, she's all there. But, you know, obviously, What's a bit of 80 year old, you know, what are you going to expect? I'm liking that fuel tank. Now, I don't know what that's off. Someone, if you know what that's off, that's something I should think World War Two or before. But I like the look of that. Nice out of the way, rather than being down there and getting hammered. But I just like the look of that. But this is that matador, mate, isn't it? This is the one. This is the one that everyone wants. Timber tractor. So, obviously, it started off life as an artillery tractor, you know, with the British Army or whatever, and then was sold off, and they had the back taken off, as you know now, and had a timber crane put on. This is the one everyone falls in love with. This is the one that everyone wants, really. Now, as far as a will it start goes, this normally, before I even turn on the cameras, is where I do my due diligence. This is where I'll then look at, is this actually worth all the time and effort? Um, so I'll be looking at things like, you know, is there a hole in the block? Is the engine all there? And things like that. And if it all is and whatever, then we go and have a look, see if it'll turn over. And then we'll put some fuel. You've, you've seen the drill, right? You've seen it before. But this one's a little bit different, muckers. Um, you know, we get so many questions about these will it starts, you know. Um, well, what would you do and how are you going to do this and how are you going to do it? As I told you, I'd go through that list first. And if it's got all those bits in place, chances are we can get it to run, you know, one way or another. Maybe not always the best sort of tune out of it, but we can get them to run. <laughs> However, this one is a little bit different. And so we thought, look, just for you, and this, I don't know what the result is gonna be. This could be a really quick episode. It could be really quick. Yep. Or it could be a two-parter or something. Look, as we're recording this, you're going to now see what we're going to do. Because I'll do my due diligence. Um, and I've already done a bit of that. And look, Matt, come on. Now, the rad's missing. That's not a problem. No, because it's a cold day. It's a cold day. We've In run fact, stuff without rads. It's been snowing. It's always something about snow and matadors and you and me, isn't it? Not cold for some of the people in North America, but around here. Where's the rad? It's in the shed. So you've got a rad got for a rad, it. You've got yeah. a rad for it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Why has the rad been removed? There's actually a lot of it's been removed. Have a look in there. I'd say not only has the rad been removed, we've got no rocker covers. No, we haven't. No, we've got right. no rockers. No. We've got no injector pipes. No. No radiator hoses. No. And the injectors are all hanging out. All right. We're not going to be able to just put a can of fuel on this, a little bit of ether, and get it to go. Um, there's a reason a lot of this has been removed, Matt, isn't there? Yeah. Um, and I've got some bad news. 
Go on. It's seized solid. Absolutely and utterly. Completely seized. seized. Completely seized. All right, mate, so we can see a bit better up here. Um, right, so now Matt and I, we always had a bit of a discussion before we go and look at these sort of things, and he said this one could possibly be, did you not say, a standing seizure? Yeah, it's had an exhaust manifold on it. Um, All right, so the manifold was on this. Yeah, 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 and it's been dry stored. Ah, so by that, hopefully, in theory, no water should have got direct down. Exhaust, where's the exhaust? Is it the back of the cab or is it down below? Right down below. Oh, so again, not upwards. So the oh. walk, so that's another good sign. Yep. So that's often the way you can seize things is when water gets in, I'll sit on top of pistons and just seize in the balls and that. And that's, that's a world of pain. But with that not being the case, the other type of seizure, well, there's actually two more. There's a running seizure when it runs short of oil. Mm -hmm. Oil um, hates. Or overheats. Yeah. Um, but if it's done that, we're in serious trouble. That's just game over, really. Yeah. Really, it's game over. But there is another one, and it's a standing seizure. And you've seen it before. You've seen that with those, like my, my whacker plate that Kimberly did for me. You know, I've got that little Honda engine, standing seizure. Somehow I've ended up with this shonky fucking whacker plate, which apparently is seized. That's not a good start. Got it running again. Um, basically, it's just where, you know, if you left something just in one place for 20, 30, 40 years, and just with the moisture in the air, it can just grab it enough, and get a little bit of, you know, sort of rust and whatever, that it can just make it that much too tight to actually turn. And that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, it could also be the carbon build-up. Could be a carbon build-up. I think we should actually have a quick look at these cylinder heads. Right, mate. Um... Yeah, that is what you... <sighs> Honestly. I've never seen cylinder heads that bad, have you? No, I haven't, genuinely. That that's really is an advert for why you should change your engine oil. Look, look, Marcus, look. You just saw, I, I, I've never, and you think of all the bloody engines I've messed around with. I don't think I've ever seen one as bad. Well, I've seen it, stuff like that, but not in that amount. No. That was something no. else. That is, uh, yeah. So we're now going to assume this whole engine is in a lot of love. No. Normally, I'd be looking at this uh, as a potential will it start, and I, I just, I'd say no. However, because so many of you have said, you know, have you ever got to the point where it won't go? No, I haven't, because normally I'd walk away from something like this, because as I said, the and it's going to cost a lot of money to do this, because time and effort and whatever, and probably bits we're going to have to put in it, bits that are missing and whatever. Um, someone's got to pay for that. Um, I, don't, I think that's going to be you and me to pay for that one. Yeah, but how can we walk away from this old girl? Really? I, I can show you <laughs> very easily. Look, no, I know gonna, what you're this saying. This is going to be the hardest will it start ever done. For us? Yeah. I've seen people literally go to engines that are completely seized and end up stripping them down. But again, that's fine. I've got so much on because Matt has got some. We don't have the time to do that. But I know what you're saying. We've got one positive thing. We don't think. We don't think it's water ingress like that. So... Muckers, for your viewing entertainment, and I'm not going to promise that we end up with this running because it might just end up being that the engine is scrap and it doesn't look good at the minute. If I've had no attention over those years that it was running, it we don't, don't think good. it's running 40 years either. No. So, with that in mind, uh, I can't say I'm that hopeful. The first thing, no, but genuinely, the first thing I would like to do is see if we can at least get it free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so there we go. It's not going to be so much of a will it start. I think it's going to be more of a can we get it to turn. Um, so there, there we go. Um, we'll take you along on this um, journey. Have I got to lay in the snow again underneath? Yeah, it's, it's your job. What are you got there? Fire bar. That'll turn it Mate, up, what it? are you going to do? Take off some fixtures and fittings? Go and get a pry bar. Ah, oh, there it goes. That's more like it. So... You're going to jam it in somewhere? Yeah, I think we've got a place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As is traditional in this um, scenario. Um, oh, it's, I get to lay this. That's just basically it, yeah. Um, you have to get underneath, and there's a inspection hole, 
and Matt can normally get the pry bar in there um, because it's cold, damp and, and obviously snowing. That, that's his job. I would, I would do it, mate. I would do it, but you're here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <coughs> not Are you all right there? Yeah. Right, can so you, see it? you can get in there, can mm -hmm. you? Right. Get in somewhere. Yep. That's not very good. No. Um, let me go up the front so if there's any movement there at all. All right. You just just stay there. Mm -hmm. You do deal. Right. You do your little thing. Mm -hmm. No. There's no movement there whatsoever. So you can just see. Can you see down there? He is. There's his little bar down there. We're looking at the front. No, there's nothing, mate. I'll give you an idea of how seized it is. Yes. This visual demonstration. Oh, yeah. So we've got this uh, about four footer bar on the front there, and there's absolutely nothing. I don't want to move, mate. No, hold on. Oh, yeah, we can probably put an extension on. Did the gas board know you got that? Yeah, I dug it up the other week. That's good. Right, now I'm just going to make sure that... I'd stand back if I was going to do that, because, yeah. Any movement? No. Um, go on. Can I let go now? You can let go. <laughs> I, I don't think the diesel worked. No. Um, no, it, it, it obviously hasn't. So there we are, Marcus. So genuinely, at this point now, on, as a purely at a commercial level, the decision we'd be making is cut it up well there is that there's a lot of nice parts yeah on that and i know a lot of you think you know oh, that's really hard i'll do that course, you should save that yeah i don't know so if you want to give us your bank details we can even do we it, can right? do yeah we can do that yeah yeah and do a, a go me or whatever matt and i have both said look we will sort of persevere a little further with this and that's what we're going to do yeah um just for you lot so there you go um but to spend the time and effort on this normally now, because even if we can get this free, mm -hmm. the rest of it tells me. Oh, I haven't told you. The fuel pump's completely seized as well. Right, okay, so. I've got a spare one. I know a lot of you then think, you know, oh, them two clowns, they do this, they, that's all sort of, you know, done as. You didn't tell me about the fuel pump. Ah, uh, there might be some other bits and pieces as well, but. All right. Look, that's, that's the... Look, we've started now. We might as well finish it. Why didn't you mention... Seriously, why didn't you say about the fuel pump? Because that would have told me a lot more, to be honest. Yeah, you wouldn't have turned up. Yeah, there is, there is that. There's a problem with the gearbox as well. What? It's a bit stuck. In gear? Yeah, but that'll help us. No, that would. That could, no, that, seriously. Yeah. All right, so I've got an idea, and I've already discussed this with Matt. Luckily, it's seized, obviously, in gear, not in neutral, because, yeah. you know... So that's one thing in our favour. Do you not get what gear it's seized in? All of them. All of them, okay. So it's in gear. Are the brakes wound off? Well, um, I don't think it's got any, so that's not an issue. So that's, that's, it's, it's a positive. There is a, there is a positive. And we've right. got no clutch either. As so, in we can't well, no, depress it. Yeah, as in we can't depress it. because. It's... But it is in gear. So what I'm saying is if we do rock this, it's yeah. going to go yeah. that on the engine as yeah, such. Yeah, yeah. It's had diesel in there for a week. And we have been trying to... Uh, have to you done it? So each day you give it a little yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, again, these are just little things like Matt will do before I come mm -hmm. down, just to make sure that we can do something. This really hasn't been a success, has it? No, not at all. Okay. Um, In fact, I've just wasted a couple of litres of diesel. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, the price. <laughs> <laughs> look at, look at the effort. Which, you know, but genuinely, like I said, there'll be people out there, they're giving, oh, no, no, don't do that. You'll damage, damage, damage what? That, it's... Let's face it. So that is another positive. Yeah. What harm are we going to do? None. No. What we'll do then, we'll give it a bit of a rock, and if that doesn't work, then we'll take the cylinder heads off. Okay. And actually have a look inside. And then we'll end up having to smash the pistons out if they're seized in there. Let's look at it on the a genuinely positive side. If that engine is absolutely bollocksed, you've got other engines. Yeah. So it, it's not the end of the road for this matador. Do you see what I mean, Marcus? Yes, we're going to try and get its engine, you know, moving or whatever. 
as far as a start goes, I mean, I just don't think that's going to happen, if I'm what, honest. today? <laughs> Any time. But there we go. That's what we're going to do. Um, we'll persevere with this. We'll film it. But do you see what I mean now, Marcus? Do you, can you see where a lot of people are like, oh, no, you keep going. No, no, you you keep going. You come and, and do, oh, I'd do it. No, you fucking wouldn't. You could give all that, lot, all the chops about, you know, I could get that going, I could do it. Yeah, we've had all that. I, I, we're not going to move. If that bloody piece of pipe and that doesn't move it, no. um, it is last resort. Mm -hmm. In the last resort, I think we get something um, and we just give it a, a nudge backwards and forwards. Just tease it in gear? Yeah. Why yeah. don't you go and find something big and heavy uh -huh. to give it a shove with them? Why? What on earth are you doing? I meant the telehandler. Oh, right. This is big and that's heavy. It's weighing tons. A little bit of uh, overkill, isn't it? So that's what we're doing. So we're going to give her a push with the telehandler. As I said, with it in gear. Um, got no clutch or anything like that so once it's in gear it's in gear so that'll then obviously whole drive line will turn the engine or should do so there we go we'll push from the back is all right you're in all right, all right? Yeah, yeah fine now yeah. how am i gonna know if the engine starts to move will you i shall leave that there for you well i can't put that <laughs> yeah sure yeah no but no, i got like so hold oh, on i ain't like taking the fish either right so what i was gonna do if i leave that there and then, I'll if I'm, it. you watch it, I'll film it from behind, and then we can see out the side there, Mark, because if it does turn at all, it will move. Do you really think it's going to turn? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, no. No. No, no. I don't. No. I genuinely don't. But th what will happen is that they'll scuff on the tyres or whatever. Even I may try to put a bit of weight yeah. some, but I don't know. Oh, I found a gear. I found a gear. Oh, so it's not seen. No, it's, no, no, it's something. Look. Another result. So again, a positive, Marcus. We've got. See so what? Can you actually move the gearbox? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got first, second, third, fourth. So we've got a gearbox now. We didn't have one. We thought it seized and stuff. Sorry, right. put in a, a nice high gear. Yeah. And then um, we'll see what happens. I've got no clutch. But... You don't need to be worried about a clutch. You don't even. Need... They're just so overrated. Right. Tally handler. Right. So there we go. Um, there's a bird. It's a bird's nest. Did you say it's a bird's nest? Yeah, bird's nest. It's gonna run in it. She'll just fire straight in her life. No injectors, no manifold, but she'll fire straight in her life. It's a bird's nest. Right. In this thing. Mm. Well, I'm just gonna push gently. So what we'll do is let's just keep an eye on that. See if we have anything at all. Oh. Look at that, muckers. At, right. one, at one point... There was some movement there. At one point, I thought it was going to fire into life. <laughs> That's why. So did you, there was no, I, I couldn't see from where there I was. Is, there is actually movement there. Really? Whether it's just, obviously, there's a lot of twist on the whole thing. Yeah. That might be trying to turn the, the actual whole engine, literally on its mounts okay um which is, is never a good thing but it was genuinely moving probably i would say about an inch right to the top oh, which really? is nothing down there no but there's a long beat of bar um i think what we do what we're gonna do i think yeah let's give it a little bit of a push forward then give her a tug back all right and then do this just keep doing that and i'm happy to spend five ten minutes doing that if it ain't done by then when you say you're happy to do five ten minutes is that because you're sat in the tilly handle with the heat on oh yeah otherwise i've been sat in there we didn't i'd have been done by now ain't gonna run let's put another engine in it What? The whole engine was it was side So this side. is this is what I did say, what could be happening, because of all that pressure going right through, so you got the wheels, you got the diffs, you got your half shafts, diffs, props, 
transfer case, you then got the gearbox mm-hmm. and whatever. Uh, then right through, obviously, you got your clutch and your engine and whatever. It's all those little bits have got, you know, just a bit of giving them, and it's just actually rocking the engine. Um, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, mate, no. Um, but, as we said, we're here to... To at least half past three. <laughs> we're here to just show you lot, you know, when things don't go right. Uh, again, at this point, it'll just be, do you know what, let's just give up. Yeah. Give up. However, nothing's gone bang yet. No. If it did go bang with this engine, I don't really care. Um, it'd probably be a good thing. It probably would, be, especially if it freed up. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I say I'm going to actually try it backwards now because sometimes going in one direction, it, it could look. If you can imagine that there was some condensation or some moisture got on top of a piston and that piston in this direction is trying to go up and it can't. But if it went the other way and went away from it, it might just turn. And then you could then have a bit more of a go at it. Listen, I know I'm being very, very hopeful with that. Um, but doing a little last ditch effort today uh, just to see where we are before we come back uh, and have another go tomorrow. Oh, bless. Do you want me to have a go out of that? Yeah, go on then. That's right. Well, right, so what we'll do is stop today and we'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so what we'll do is I'm going to get under there now. I'll have a go at doing the flywheel. And, and I don't tell you, I bet it spins over on a complete revolution. No, there you have a go. Oi, oi, I'll get it to fire up, mate. <laughs> um, so all they've got now on the flywheel, up in there. And then Matt, at the front there, Hello. wherever he is, Matt at the front there, there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, he'll get on that bar again. Now, I'm going to, you want to go your way, don't you? Yeah. So... All right, putting pressure on. Is it moving? No, it's it's just a lot of tension through there, through the crank, Matt. I reckon we're about to shear the end of the crankshaft. Yeah, I'm good with that. Oh, hang on, mate. Is it moving? Let me get another bite. All right, try again. That's moving, Matt. It is moving. One more, just try it one more time, go on. Yeah, it's moving. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got movement there. So I think what we do now with the light fading, let's call it a day. And what we do, Matt, is tomorrow, we'll go the other way, because I don't want to keep going this way. Uh, Because I think there's probably a, a corrosion ring in the bore, where moisture or water or whatever is sat. Um, and the piston is topping out on that. I think that's what it is. So if we can come away from that. It's also got another night for that diesel. Or something. It has got another night for the diesel, yeah. No, I know the uh, light's fading and whatever, but um, I just want to have a, just before we pack up, I just want to rock it back, pull it back and see if we can get it the other way. Just so it may just draw away from any corrosion ring in the bore. So. Are you ready for this yet? No, yet no. I'm always ready for it, but I don't know if we're gonna some of the finest that is, mate. Price of that stuff, look. I think it might be uh, more than one can. Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Well, I just cleared everything from underneath there so it can run past, yeah. and then what we do is we'll just give her a little tug back. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. We'll stick her in. We're gonna stick her in fourth. You know, as it going forward, and then well, we're gonna pull her back, and that should turn the engine the other way. What's up? So, hang on, you got up there. Got no bar on it now. Right. That moved, didn't yeah, it? The fan moved, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to go back up to that point again, I think. Yeah, you're back up to that point. So, I'll pull her back again, but try and pull her back so you can almost get half a revolution if we can, all right? You've got to just keep rocking it. I mean, what's that? It's got a lifting cert on it. What? Yeah. Lift cert? I think that is, and that's got only 25 yards swimming cert. All right, well, if that's going to be the end of it, that'll be the end of it. All the safety. Oh, 
not exactly going to be surprised, were you? It's broken yeah. multiple places. It has, yeah. yeah. I mean, you think, though, you know, um, that's not enough. We ought to think about disaster. That could have been near a uh, child's um, bike, uh, a puppy farm. Yeah. All the things that could have got... That's not enough. You've got to make it more dangerous than what it was. But on the other side, that bit's all right. Yeah, yeah. There is that. Yeah, and the label's gone. Yeah. At what point did you actually think that was suitable? Right at the start. Did you? Shall we... Uh, no. Yeah, let's go back and do that, shall we? Because that's not going to do any more. Let's have a little look. We'll do it off the fan because that's more visual. I love a bit of visual. What are you doing there? See if you can get it. start, do we? Look at that, look. Look at that. that uh, uh, listen, where's that ether? No, all right, so we've got movement there. Um, I wouldn't bother going any further with that. Because you're just going to come up. Whatever is in there where it's stuck is stuck. No. So you come up against that again. So we have got a bit of movement. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a start. You've got a bit of... You can rock that more. But we have we have got to go a lot further on that other side. Not like a new... No. Stop. No. <laughs> You've got, well, we're going to need a chain or something. That's my best strap, that one. Right, well, I don't know what you're going to do with it, but... Um, if we tie a knot in it, that'll be all right. That'll that work. is always the way. You tie a knot in it. Yeah, that'll that is going. That is always the way, isn't it? Because yeah. that's going to work, isn't it? There'll be people at home going, oh, that's only a two-ton lifting strop. Oh, and... yeah, you should have done that. It's a... Yeah, so you should have done that with it the, the other way round. You're actually going to do that, aren't you? <laughs> Why not? We'll go again tomorrow. Do we bring one tomorrow that's actually rated and suitable? With the, what, with a test set? With with a, well, actually, with a test set, yeah, genuinely with a I test set. With a new one. Yeah. All right, that's enough uh, for today. So, because the light's fading, and to be honest, it's not like it's essential that we've got to be getting this, you know, going tonight because there's an emergency. You start buggering around in poor light, and that's when accidents happen. So, uh, we'll give it another go tomorrow. Right, so day two. Um, it's a lot colder today, a lot colder. The, you know, it didn't snow overnight again, did it? But that minus five at the moment. Yeah, it is. It's really, it really is. It's not really nice. Anyway, last night I was just going through some of the footage and kept looking more at this. And something that's actually, I suppose, when you mention it, very obvious. But you tell it, you know. However. You often see matadors in a, could be a yellow, could be whatever. There's all sorts of liveries post-war, you know, when civilian life. But look at this. And I looked at it last night and thought, it looks like a desert, desert sand colour. And obviously matadors were used in North Africa and, and places like that. So anyway, today we had a bit more of a look at it. And you've got right at the base you've got a green there's some we could see somewhere some green as it would have been from the fact you know man yeah just there look yeah, yeah and then on top of that green you've got this desert sort of color and that is more of a desert color that is what they'd have been and then it's got other greens on top of it but look there's an old insignia here it's very de i'm trying to make out what's been painted over what the shape is possibly but it's worth noting that it's not just on the cab. Before someone says, oh, it's a cab or something else. Yeah. But look, it's on the chassis. Yeah. It is everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. And to paint a vehicle in, you know, after post-war like that, to that extent. So I think, yeah, she was probably a desert matador. Look, at this point, normally, and I know all you out there with your good intentions would be like, oh, you've got to save it. You've got to do it. It comes to a point where it's just not viable. To, to do that all the, all the while but there are times where something like this it's obviously got history I know they've all got history but it's a little bit different yeah. you've got a little bit more about it I'd like to see this old girl preserved two reasons her obvious post-war life as a, a timber tractor has obviously been worked hard as a timber tractor that's one thing more than that her wartime uh, you know, it'd be nice history. to trace that so it we would could work be. out what regiment. What, yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice. So, anyway, but, but, but let's just again put the caveat with this one as far as a will it start goes. No. The chances are it ain't going to start, all right? Let's just be very clear about that. 
what Matt and I are trying to achieve is to get it to turn, just to get it free, because it's seized. Because then, even if it's got, then you sort of say, all oh, right, but you can rebuild, yes, you can rebuild the engine, but you've got to get pistons and everything out. And doing that with seized pistons ain't a good time, is it? So if we can free it up, mm -hmm. at least then, with the heads off and everything, you can drive pistons out. And, yeah. like, and that's a lot easier to do it in situ with all the gear training on, where you can rock it and have a lot of leverage on it, than it is with a block of wood and a fucking toffee hammer tapping away, like Santa's little helper. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so that's that's why we're going to do it this way. But yeah, I do like that. Quick update: right. Matt has just done a bit of research. Very easy research, right? I'm just looking from my phone. Look. So not on his phone, and you see that there. I'm probably not very well, but yeah. Now that is like a uh, it's almost like a Maltese cross, isn't it? See. So with that in mind. I reckon that's got a lot of, a lot of multi cross. So what does that say? What that's a, that's does it designate it to a? Yeah, that's the. Uh, this is the Matador at Duxford. So this this the one the picture there is the Matador at Duxford in the collection. So we need to try flat now. Ah oh, no 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 no. Matt doesn't know this bit. Oh. While you're messing around with that, you got it to run? <laughs> no, I've got it to run. Look, I found this bit red. And blue. Ah, so that's that. And that's if you can see on there again. I'll send you these pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, now I don't know if their matador is a genuine was used or is just painted up as that. But this no, one obviously it came from Malta. Oh, that one did come yeah, from Malta. That but that's, from okay, this is why I do love these sort of things. So you know, we were here just to do a not a will it start a will it turn over, um, and we've ended up actually getting a bit of history on this. Um, and people say, oh yeah, perhaps maybe it was done as a, a you know, a show vehicle. This, this wasn't ever done as a show vehicle. It's a piece of junk. This, this has been a military vehicle. And this has been a working vehicle. Mm. That's it. This has never been on the show circuit. So, how good is that? I tell you, I love that sort of stuff. Now, this one, this one's not going to be for, for spares. Do you agree there? I've just found a better picture of hey, it. Hold on. Here yeah. Right, if we can get it on. I don't think we can get it. You can, look. There you go. So there we are. So no, that's I think that's we know a bit of direction now where we're gonna go with this. We're gonna cut it up. We're gonna cut it up, yeah. <laughs> we can cut up and say, do you want the bits of a very special matter? No, so there we are, as I said. I know they're all special, they've all you know they are, they are all special. But sometimes you do have to make the hard decisions and that allows others to carry on. The spares if you, have got to come from somewhere. They've got to come from somewhere. That's this is exactly right. And a lot of you have got spares from other you know, very historic matadors. But this one, no, I think we've got to give her a bit more. Yeah. Right, now, I mean, Dave say there'll be some of you asking what we're doing with number 37. Um, well, nothing at the moment, as you can see. But there's a good reason for that. Uh, that reason being that he has just been so busy with stuff that, as we said, when we start this, that's going to be start to finish. Uh, not being pushed back every couple of weeks in the back of the shed and then sort of start the finish. And we're waiting on a couple of bits. Yeah. So we still want some more bits. We're going to gather them bits, put them on the shelf, ready to start this. All those little bloody brackets and bits and bobs that this needs. A little bit. I started stripping it. You have started stripping oh, it. Started yeah. Stripping it. Again, I know it looks like you took the side, but doing that now and all the bits of fittings and stuff. You can preserve them and clean them and do them and get them ready to go back on. So uh, it's just a little job like that. So yes, started it as such, but not in a big way. Because as soon as it goes in the in the workshop and there's space in there, get a couple of those other matadors out and gone. This will go in and, and then it'll go right through and we'll start on it. So, but yeah, she's still there, still all right. And um, as I said, she'd fire straight up as you know. I'm going to jump back on that telly handler and I'm going to rock it back because obviously pistons up, pistons down. Some will be going away from the sort of the rust rings and others will be coming up into them. So if it comes to doing an in-frame, fair enough, heads can come off and the yeah. pistons can come out then, can't yeah. they? Do you know what I mean? But standing underneath and above, try to belt pistons, the bloody line is coming out with it. Some, oh. Yeah,
We go forward. Right, we're gonna go forward now because just see me on there, Matt. If you watch um, in there, what you see the fan. All right. All right. We go back. Fan again. full of diesel <laughs> that is that, that's all the preserving down there see that's so it don't rust that is uh okay have so you, there we go this? Oh, yeah. smells old like spice a, smells, smells like, like a man man, <laughs> man. we'll put a bit more diesel in it yeah put down the board so when i turn it over yeah yeah can do i mean that's not gonna do any harm is it the more the better if i put got rid of that yeah um, it shows it's got some compression still. We've left a couple of the piston wings in. Yeah. So how many injectors you got out? All of them. No, <laughs> literally. All of them. <laughs> literally all of them this time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Um, if you uh, come around here, I'll um, chuck some... This is a, a I'm lovely... getting covered. That's, that's all coming up. That roof is dripping down everywhere. This is a, a beautiful cocktail yeah. of heating oil yeah. and used engine oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is like the good stuff. Oh, only the best. Listen to that. I was fairly pleased to see that it's still got some compression. Okay, should we go forward? Why don't I just put the starting handle back on the front and see if I can actually just get it to turn Because you won't get it to squirt out as much as I can when I'm pushing. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all um right so what we're going to do now is as you can tell we are just going to get the bar in the front here and matt can hopefully just turn it over now but I, i'll tell you i'm pleased with that almost fired <laughs> oh you know there was a point where i'm thinking you, you when you you know your head's not sort of with it and you're thinking is it going to go is it gonna... <laughs> but obviously not it's got no injectors in it but you know yeah, we all live in hope. Okay, we'll just stick a bar on and we'll give her a... What do you reckon? Well, like, yeah, I think it should go now. It should... There we go. There we go. Yeah. Look at that, look. Should we see if we do a full a revolution? A full revolution. Yeah. I know they're, they've got no injectors in it, but I still don't think she's got a lot of compression, even if they were put in... I don't know. It's, it's pretty tight. <laughs> it's been seized up, mate. It's going to be. Once that diesel starts doing this thing, they're just gonna, we better just do that. <laughs> like a model aircraft. Oh yeah, there you Now we know that it turns, as in it's free. Um, we're gonna see if we can put some power onto the starter motor. And then once we've done that, we're gonna see if- The starter motor's knackered. The starter motor's knackered, basically, just to see, test the starter motor. Um, what do you reckon, go on. No chance. No chance? No chance. I'm going for a chance. I'm really? going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually... Feeling com lucky? I'm feeling... Well, confident. I'm feeling lucky. Feeling confident with this. Anything else, Spanner? What are you doing with Spanners? Because people will say we don't do it properly. And they'd be right. There's a time and a place to do things properly, and um, not here, it's not here, is it? No. Right, yeah? Again, go on.
The injector pump is squirting, and so is the engine. That's a good sign. That is it? always a good sign, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's always a good sign. <sighs> well, a success. I must admit, I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, uh, yeah, look, all right, we say success. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with it, success. I am going to go with that. That we was That was also two days of work to get to this stage. Look, that's the reason why normally when I do a will it start and do my due diligence, I would have called an end on it yeah. yesterday within an hour. You know, because I knew this isn't a this isn't one that's gonna run straight away. It's gonna take a lot of time, effort and money to do that. Um but for you lot, just to show you we've persisted with this one. Um and as I said one or two little discoveries. I'm quite glad that we have done. Yeah, we've still got a long way to go. There is a long way to go. But here's the thing. What about... Mm -hmm. And now we've got it this far. Yep. Um, and again, not saying it's going to be a success and it's going to, as I said, drive out of the... But should we... Now we've got it so she turns. Should we um, maybe take it another stage further? Because we can turn it on the st on the yeah. starter, all right, and it turns. But that free. doesn't mean anything, does it? It, it means nothing. We've had him turn on the starter before, and just no yeah. compression. <laughs> While those injectors are out, stick a boroscope down. Yeah, yeah. Have a look inside. Just yeah. see what they're like. Yep. Yeah. That will give us a good idea whether there's any piston wings left in it. Yes. Yeah. Or bits of it floating yeah. around on top, or whatever. Uh, or if the you know the actual liners are damaged and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Should we then stick the valve train back on mm -hmm. and I'll clean up all the heads because they are disgusting. All right, you clean all that sludge. Yes, you, you saw that. So if we cleaned that out, yeah, right. Then if we then put the valve train on, mm -hmm. did all the old yeah, uh, you know valves. Did yep. make sure they're all right and so that everything's in place. Then. Put the injectors back in. No, before we put the injectors in, why don't we do a compression test? You want to do that? Yeah, well, you've got the bore scope, we've looked inside, then we'll do a compression. And if there's Sounds no, good to if me. There's I'm no up, compression at all. It would be interesting to show, show everybody yeah. else. We could do that. Then we'll just take, take the heads off. But if we've got good compression, there's no damage inside. I'm up with that. Maybe then we'll think about going to the next stage. Yep. yep. So we put that next stage then would be put injectors in, get fuel lines on, get a bit of fuel in. Mm -hmm. And then who knows? Like I said, even it. Let's just let's, say, let's just say, take this to the, the the next legendary dream level yeah. that it did actually cheech and get a bit of a note out of it. That's going to need a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, as much as you enjoy watching all these, and you know we enjoy doing them, the reality is, it's taken us two days to get to this stage. Yeah. Uh, two full days. It, it's actually a hundred and sixty-two miles round trip for me every day to do this. Here and back. Matt hasn't worked for two days. He want to do some business. What sort of business? Sex. You've been doing this instead. Mm -hmm. um, which is one of the, I said, really, this could have waited till whenever, but I know you lot want to see something. Plus, we've used various bits and bobs. Uh, as I said, with the travel. Muckers, listen. The whole point is, we like doing these sort of things, but without your support, it's just not viable. All right? So... Thank you to everybody that does support this channel. And by that, because don't forget, it's free. It doesn't cost you a penny. I need about 3 for it. We'll do our bit. The more you do your bit, listen, the more the channel grows. And then we'll get the support of other companies, manufacturers, and that want to support other stuff on the channel. We continue to grow, and guess what we can do more of? Stuff like this. The will it starts, the hedgerow finds, the... Uh, the workshop stuff, the, the, all the restorations. And all you need to do is keep supporting the channel. Keep giving everything a like, keep sharing stuff and whatever. So, yeah, you play your part, we'll play ours. And we might even get this... No, I'm not going to say that. No. We'll just do our bit. Yeah. So, there we go, muckers. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, we hope you enjoyed that. As I said... Uh, thank you for those that have kept supporting the channel all the way through. And for the rest of you, you know, as I said, it all helps. And we appreciate it. So, thank you. Anyway, we'll get on with this now. And we'll go to the next stage. And we'll film it. And so you'll be able to see, I was going to say progress. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm just telling them. I'm telling them now. Look. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's that time again. So, 
until the next one. Do well. <laughs>